good. So if you don't know what side it is, that's perfect. You having trouble? Yeah. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Cool, beautiful. Turn back in a little bit. If you want to turn out a bit, cool, come in. Let's try stepping out across here. Now, yeah, see, now I can come in here. Just really cool. Let's stand in. Just cool, 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 cool. Push, push. Cool, we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our live stream. Today, we're shooting with Shay. I've got her details down below and a little bit about our shoot along with Peter's camera settings and what camera and lighting he was using. So we'll try and flick it over and you guys can have a little bit of a behind the scenes of the shoot. Yeah, I like that with you just off the wall a little bit like this. Stand in, that's really pretty, that's really pretty. Just watch, it's nothing but food at the moment, but that's cool. Just, let's, yeah, just cool, 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 turn. Beautiful, 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 cool. Stand in, stand in, stand in, stand in, stand in, stand in. That's really pretty, turn in a little bit, just a little head. I feel like cool. the volume's too low. Sorry? The volume's too low. On everything? Yeah. Yeah, oh, this is far better. Are you looking on the app? Yeah. Cool. Or somebody said it. Someone said it. All right. So just see that. Okay. I think the sound might be a bit better now. Is this not peaking on here? Just watch it back. No, it's not I peaking at all. All right. Cool. And watch yours. Does it go into the right spot? So on your actual, on your screen, see your screen thing? Is that getting up to where we want it to be? It's down in the green. Yeah, but is it getting up to touching yellow at no. all? No. All right, so maybe you've got, you've got that turned down. Because I can't turn this up much okay. more. So we haven't changed our settings um, there? No. Okay, I think the sound's a bit better now. Is that better yeah. now? Cool. Cool, awesome. Right, I'm just going to shoot a bit more of this. So anybody who's on, cool, cool. Stand there we go. Now you guys can hear us. Cool. Sorry cool. about that. Cool. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, live stream is a pain in the butt because we can't hear what you hear while we're recording. So it's people need to tell us it's too dark. So we actually can't hear. It's delayed. Cool. Stunning. So what I've got set up at the moment is two HMIs. I've got one HMI over here, which is what's lighting Shay at the moment. So I've got it's coming through the back of Shay and bouncing off the wall on her. And I've got a second HMI over here, which is really, it's a, having a little bit of effect on there, but very minimal. But it's more lighting this wall. And it's going to do the lighting from behind when I do some behind shoots. So the whole idea of this setup, it allows me to get 10, 15 different looks without moving anything but the model on myself. So now I've fully set up to do 10 or 15 completely different looks without having to mess around with stuff. Um, so I'm just going to shoot Shay, and I love shooting Shay. She's been, she didn't like me and went overseas and ran away. <laughs> now she's back. Cool. Um, it's because she just freestyle models so beautifully. She, you see, nothing's a frozen. And there's an emotion to it. Cool, cool, cool. That's just turn your head in a little bit. Also, whenever I'm saying turn your head in a little bit, it's because I don't want the side light to hit her cheek. You can come in right close to this wall. Now we'll just do some really close in pretty shots. That's really pretty. I just want to see what I'm getting on screen. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's really, really pretty. Hello to Toronto and hello Mexico City. Can they see the screen at all? Uh, no, a little bit. A little bit. So they've got no idea what we're shooting. Well, I can. No, that's right. I just, them. I was just want, wondering. Or just bring that, put that, turn that round so that's showing. Yeah. A little bit wide, but getting some of the screen as well. Cool. These are really pretty shy. Yeah, it feels like it's overexposed, but no, no overexposure warnings going off at all. I'm just going to shoot a bit more. That's pretty. That's really pretty. 
beautiful, stunning, stunning, stunning. It's really pretty, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Stunning, stunning. Cool, 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 beautiful. Cool, stunning. It's really cool. Cool. Turn your head in just a little bit there, cool, beautiful, stunning. So with this we're getting nothing but boob, but that's fine. That's actually a gorgeous shot, Joe. Yeah. That is stunning, stunning. So I think I've nearly got my head shot. Yeah. All right, so we've got a head shot. Let's go do a bit more fashion. So I'm going to shoot with, you can stay, no, I can stay there. I'm going to shoot with this light hitting you full on. And I'm just going to sit around here and I'm going to adjust my settings once I take my picture. Because I'm going to set up for a nice fashion. In fact, that go went bang straight away. It's looking really cool. Um, I've got pretty aggressive settings on this. Um, let's, I want a high contrasty type of shot. That's better. So I might just get rid of that. That's better. Get some nice contrast into this picture. And all of this stuff is just to my eye, so I'm just doing it to what my eye likes. I really like that there. So that's the black and white colour. I'd most likely desaturate it a bit. You'll see with that amount of contrast on, it's really oranged off her skin. So if I was shooting colour, I'd be desatting back to there, which is a nice fashion look. Um, but colour hurts my eyes. So I'm just going to shoot some fashion. With this, cool. That's stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. Cool, 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 cool. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, stunning, 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 stunning. That's really cool, Chef. Beautiful, beautiful. This is a type of model I love working with. Just someone that just completely freestyles and doesn't care about anything. Cool, stunning, stunning, stunning. You can have some nice attitude. Beautiful. Beautiful. They're really pretty. Beck, you're looking stressed. I'm fine. You're fine? Yeah, you sure I'm just now? Really wish I had an extra pair of arms at the moment. <laughs> Oops, what am I just moving? Not the right thing. Get back there, thank you. These are cool, Shay. Right, so there's two looks done. Now I'm going to drift, might jump on the other settings to start with. Might come off that picture, let's go. So this is that problem I said with the, if we turn out, we get this side light. And this picture's not that too bad, but I prefer the head turned into the wall rather than have that hot spot coming on the cheek. So let's go over, let's find a nice muted light. So maybe over there. Well, that's a bit pretty. I'm out of touch. And the great thing with HMI is I can now do all my lighting using my own eyes. So I can look at Shay and decide, is this how I want her lid or not? So back a fraction, just a little bit. Cool. So this is, I'm thinking about, in fact, even with this shot, what I might do is make this more like something shot in the 90s on film. So that's gorgeous. So I'm going to film this up now. So I'm just going to quickly make a mess of this. I'm going to make sure nothing is pitch black. So I've brought up that slider. I'm going to get down to a little bit more, get that milked off, that very milky sort of filmy picture from the 90s. Something that Mario would have done with Kate Moss that's getting there. Yeah, get all of that out of there. Now that's, I need that punch. Not too much. Um, so much of this is just by your own taste. That's really cool. I'm liking the feel of that. Now the one other thing is if I was shooting, really just in there, if I was shooting this I'd most likely focus and then defocus off, off her eyes because 
old camera lenses were never super sharp, and that was one of the really nice things about old cameras. Defocus a fraction too much. Also, like you've got two sisters standing behind you. Cool. I've got a beautiful shadow sitting behind you of two shays. Oh, two shay. Mm, daddy joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help daddy jokes. I sort of like that, but I do like it. It's beautiful and soft. Let's shoot a little bit like that. In fact, do you like your two shadows? All right, so let's, let's let you shoot with your sisters. In fact, I can even put a third. Oh, that's nice. Cool, cool, cool. So what I'm doing, I'm using myself as a gobo just to get some interest in this light. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stunning, stunning there. Cool. So you'll see that I, I'm just moving a little bit to let some light come into a face. That's awesome. Cool, 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 cool. That's really pretty. I love that. I love that. Stunning. Gorgeous. 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 Beautiful there. That's stunning. Cool. Just checking. I'm the world's worst chimper, but we need to be. We need to look at our pictures. That's so pretty. We need to look at our pictures and decide, is this what we're liking? Is this what we're going for? In fact, that's looking really, really nice there. Um, just so we stay on track to what we're trying to create. I reckon, do you want to drop the jacket, spin round, drop the top and then come back covered? Like just drop the jacket on the ground? I just want to do a bare shoulder shot. And I, I'm not, not interested. Yeah, just like that. Now, now come back round that you're covered. Cool, cool. Maybe. Um, get the sleeves down your arms a little bit just so I can have your arms completely free. So just, it's such a beautiful soft light. I just, cool, cool, cool. No, I see, I don't want to see that. So okay, if, yeah, take just take your hands out of that. And I'm going to shuffle you around a little bit with the light. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. That's stunning, stunning, stunning. Slide your hand down a little bit. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. Cool, 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 cool. Stunning, stunning, cool. Beautiful, that's gorgeous, gorgeous. See, I love this beautiful muted soft light on skin because it just gives this gorgeous, surreal feeling. Loving that. Yeah, really liking that. And I can take this another way. See, I could take this really edgy and fashion-y um, and make it more chromey. Let's punch up that a lot. Let's bring that down a bit. Chrome, really. That's cool. That is really cool. So, yeah. So now I've got a completely different look, which is picking up the ink. That's giving the edgy edginess, and don't want no shadow. So turn around to me a little bit more. Yeah, cool. That's just say Beautiful, beautiful. I was getting a little bit of no shadow. So stunning, stunning. Stunning, stunning, cool, 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 cool. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, cool. You can turn around, because we'll do another look. Those double shadows are really, really nice, and even me dropping my little shadow in on the, the end is pretty cool too. That's awesome. So if you want to put, yeah, your top back on, we're just going to do one out here. So if we'll do the back. You don't have to have the jacket, but whatever. So I'm going to shoot this more silhouette. I'm, by me going back to a picture with no adjustments on, my next picture will come out with no adjustments on. I'm just going to use my eyes to see what looks good on Shay. So come more forward. I want to get a little bit more flare off this one. That's it. It's cool. That's really cool. And if I drop you in between there. Cool. So I have not changed my camera settings once. So yeah, I thought that might overcook. Don't pull your hair off your face. So leave your hair, yeah, because it's just protecting your skin. This is stunning, stunning. Except I think I jumped in the background. That was beautiful. I really like the light. Again, uh, let's do colour. Shay's got really nice colour hair, so we should do it justice. Right, Shay? 
Um, no, I won't do that. Let's throw a bit of contrast into this tiny bit. A little bit of shadow fill to milk it a bit more. And I'm going to desaturate this a bit. Oh, that's getting better. So I'm desaturating and adding contrast to get that same strength of colour. It's actually really cool. Still find it hard to look at colour. That's cool. Hey Peter, did you mention uh, what wattage the HMIs are, or do you know? Um, <laughs> by memory, I think they're both round about. I think this one here is maybe a thousand watts, and I think this one here is eight hundred watts. Right. That's really pretty. I might change my camera settings just a, a fraction to fine tune this. Yeah, I can't do colour. I don't know, there's something wrong with me, Beck. I just can't do colour. <laughs> we, <laughs> we had a, a model was told by a photographer once that the reason Peter shoots black and white is because he's colour blind. <laughs> Can you imagine my fashion clients blocking me if I was colorblind? That's so much nicer. Let's just adjust this a little bit. Yeah, so I want, now that I've got that, um, what I'm going to do is make this really nice. So I'm shooting F5 at 200. I'm just going to guess, I'm going to come down to F3.2 and go up to 400 at 3.2. So I want to get a really shallow depth of field into her eyes, get this beautiful dreaminess. Jeff, look at that. Let's pull off the overexposure. Maybe I'm cooking the hair a fraction too much there. So let's move you this way a touch. That's better. Cool. This is why I love working with HMI because I can see my light straight away, that's better. See, I've taken all that cooking off her hair. It's much softer now. Um, it's actually really soft and pretty. I'll do it. Once I've got my settings that I'm happy with, not too soft. I'm really being aggressive up in here. Oh, that's nice. Pull a bit of that out. Pull a bit of that out. Push a bit of that in. No, I preferred where I was, so if I click off my picture, go back to it. Yeah, let's shoot a couple of shots and then we'll get Shay to do a little bit of a change. That's really pretty. Stunning, 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 stunning. That's really pretty. Cool, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love that face. You used to give me this face when you were like 18 years old. Remember the very first shoot we did? Yeah. Those it's faces just were just <laughs> surreal. Oh, that's so pretty. That's really pretty. Shay, do you want to change to your other outfit? And then Beck can see if anybody's asked me any questions. Yes. Um, Let's have a look. You're having a look? No, no one's asked any questions. That's a lot right. Of people saying hello. So hello everyone. Thank you very much for tuning into our live stream. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to ask them. Cool, cool. I'm just going to pull a bit of. Yeah, I can't help it. Oh, that's nice. Sort of a weird desaturation, but so much nicer in black and white. Uh, and Philip said thank you, the guy who asked about the wattage in the HMIs. So you're very welcome. Cool. Yeah, a lot of the, the stuff we're doing live stream is just to give you an idea how I work. The really nitty gritty, um, we go into great depth with Inspire, our tutorial site. Um, there's still so much to learn from this, but in the tutorial site we actually go really into depth about every bit of the lighting, but we don't have time to do that live. I'm just tweaking at the moment. I like that. Which I forever tweak. I think that's really, really nice. Thank you for coming back, Shay. So 
So just to give, you, like, to give you an idea, you'll see all the different looks that we've got with this single setup. So it's one setup that we're just zigzagging around, using the light differently from different angles without having to touch a light. I've only changed my camera settings once and that was just so I wanted to go to shallow depth of field for this last frame. I wanted to get that hair to fall out of focus really quick behind her. I'm going to drop back to my original settings, which were f5. Point, yeah, I'll have to cheat. f5 at 200. Cool. So now we've got more tough, strong look. I'm going to shoot this wider. So at the moment, I was on 100 mil on a Hasselblad, which is like about a 75, 80 ish. I'm now going to drop on the 50, which is more like a 35 because this is more fashion. In fact, I like that there with the... Cool, 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 cool. Beautiful, beautiful. What are we going to get now? Too dark. I'm going to come back a bit. Yeah, I've got that down too much, too much contrast for this. Let's go back to... Let's go back to that setting. And just... All I'm doing is I've jumped onto a previous setting. Just... So I think that'll be closer for that. Still a bit too dark, too much contrast. Let's pull it, that's nice. Love the shadow. Um, and all this stuff, I don't have presets. This is all by my eye. I just look at the screen and adjust it till I like it. Check, that's heaps of in there. Cool, so I can make the picture slightly brighter. So I'm going to go to 4.5. I've got no overexposure happening. Beautiful. And then once I'm happy with my exposure, again, yeah, only a little bit of the wall's going off. I'm happy with that. I'm going to come in and shoot this more fashion. Cool. So I want model moving like crazy so she doesn't have time to think. Stunning, 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 stunning. And because I've got a cool, that's really cool, 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 beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's really pretty. Stunning, 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 stunning. The 35 just, or well, the 50, sorry, which is like a 35, just gives me this really surreal look. Yeah, really happy with that. Really happy with that feel. I might just use the last light that I haven't shown. So we might jump you up onto this wall. So this wall is being predominantly lit by this HMI and it's a stronger light. Come up this way a little bit. Cool, beautiful. It's got more attitude in this light. Cool, stunning. I'm just gonna get my exposure. I think I might as well be over on that. Yep. Oh, that's right, I went down in here. So F5. So it's gonna need to be about F5 at 250. So I want Shay to move a bit without being too, turn your head just towards the light a little bit. Yeah, cool, cool. All I'm doing is just checking my exposure. It's a bit cool. Let's see what I get if I slightly flare and backlight. Cool, cool, that's really pretty. Turn your head a little bit more to me. That's it, perfect, perfect, perfect. Stunning. So I'm lo just looking for a motive now. Yeah, don't like it. No, I'll stick to this way and I'll get you. That's it, cool. Cool, and I'm gonna use my shadow. Oh, that's cool. So I'm dropping my shadow in on the wall and in on Shay a little bit. Yeah, I just gotta get a face coming through a little bit more, but I'm liking the fact that I can use my shadow to Cool, cool, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Cool. I'm gonna go along the lens because I'm gonna have more control over my shadow. At the moment, it's looking like my shadow. I don't want it to look like my shadow. I want it to just look like that's how I lit it. So I can come back, which is gonna diffuse that shadow off a little bit more. That's better. Cool, beautiful, stunning. Stunning. 
cool. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Beautiful. 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 Cool, 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 cool. So I'm just very carefully watching where my shadow is coming on Shay and just bringing it onto part of her face only just to diffuse off that light a little bit. That's cool. That's really cool. Cool. I like that lot. Might try one more. Let's see if I can get this to work. Can you come out here? Keep coming, yeah, keep coming, keep coming. Let me get this light taking over. So keep, yeah, I want to try and get this light as the only light on you. So keep coming out there, that's cool. Now go back a touch. Now come this way a touch. Yeah, you might need to step up to me a tiny bit. That's cool. And you might have to work to the light a little bit. Cool, that's really pretty. Might be overexposed, but I'm liking, it's just overexposed a little bit. Cool. That's really pretty. All right, so all I'm going to do is just, I'm going to go to 6.3 on this. It's overexposed, so I brought her right into that light. But I really like the strength of this and the harshness of this light into her face. And I'm a big fan of harsh light because harsh light can come up really pretty. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. Beautiful. Cool, 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 cool. That's cool. Cool. Beautiful, beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Yeah. That's put straight into the, the HMI. That's really cool. It's beautiful. Did you want to say any, if there's any questions? If not, yes. we'll get back to shooting commercially. I will. Rather than shooting for, well, I'm definitely going to, do you like yeah. that? That's yeah. cool. Oh, we do have a few questions. Have I a few questions. Turn the camera angle so it's a bit different. All right, do you want to talk into that one, Peter? I'm going to talk into that one. Do yeah. I need to go closer? No, they can hear you. You've got a they can hear me. Uh, how many paid shoots do you do using natural light? Um, I would say maybe 30%. Mm. Oh, sorry, 30% location natural light. Um, a lot of shoots that come into the studio, we have great natural light in here. So if when they're in here, we have great light, we'll use it. But when we're on location, we can't, it's very hard to risk hair, makeup, couple of model stylist, um, all of, yeah, that's better. That's more comfortable. <laughs> um, all of that sort of thing. It's very, it's very expensive because if the, especially in Melbourne, our weather changes so much. So yesterday it was blowing a gale and we had rain. The day before it was like 38 degrees. Um, today we've got beautiful blue sky. So we can't risk it with so many people on set. But once we get in the studio, if the light suits, I'm forever dragging my clients to using natural light um, because it just makes my, I just like natural light so much and it's fun. Uh, someone says to please come to Argentina because they have great wine. <laughs> That'll get back there. Yeah, you only have to convince Beck to go and then we end up going. <laughs> uh, it looked like there was a glass doors or a large window. Are they acting as a fill or affecting the exposure? A tiny bit, not much. Um, there's no direct sunlight coming through them. So at the moment, our sunlight's pretty much dead straight above. But there's the ambient light within the studio and uh, it's a bit hard with the... The ambient light's most likely running at about three stops, maybe four stops under. In fact, I can take, I can take just a quick shot of ambient light. So if, if I just do Shay just there, so there's, no, there's only ambient light on Shay now. And if you have a look at the screen, that's the ambient light that we've got. So that's showing you the ambient light. And this is showing you so there's a, a decent difference. Um, if I was shooting in here just using ambient light and uh, not any HMIs, my settings, I'd normally be more like 1 25th of a second or 1 60th of a second, round about f3.5 to f4-ish, sort of round about, whereas I'm uh, 6.3 at 2 50th at 100 ISO, uh, sorry, 800 ISO. 
And is there any difference in the colours or quality of the light between HMI versus strobe? Oh yes, heaps of difference. But with, with especially with the, that one over there, or well both, that one especially, I can t change my colour temperature of the, the globe. That's handy. Uh, I, where I can colour balance. But the moment we, we've got a little bit of a cross balance in here, so we've got three different colour temperatures. But the way I set my lighting up, um, I've set it up that she was only predominantly being lit by one or the other light. Um, I got this, this, the HMI here is slightly colder than the one that's over there. Uh, it's mainly because this one's running through a Fresnel and this one's bare bulb. And won't the HMI light make the model's pupils smaller? If so, is that better to catch the eye colour? Um, yeah, well, the, the smaller the pupil, the more colour you got in the eye, but I don't really, they're not things I think about when I'm shooting. That's sort of lasting from my mind. I'm looking at trying to get really pretty skin. It's not all right, you don't have to come. I'm really looking at getting pretty skin. In fact, what you should do, let's set this up. You can tell me when it's right, that you can see both me and the screen. How's that? There we go, that's better. That better. That's much better. So I'm not, no, I'm not really looking at that, but now we look at this picture. We come in on Shay's eyes. Oh, shit, I focused. Um, look at the size of the eye we're getting there. If I pull out, the, um, yeah, I've got a bit of a cast in there, but you can see the blue coming out of her green eyes. No, she has got blue eyes. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah that's, it allows us to see that. It's not really something I ever think about unless I'm doing something with a fashion or a beauty client that was after a particular eye dilation. Mm -hmm. So, some people want really big pupils and others don't, I don't really go into that. Yeah, fair enough. That's fair enough. all the questions that people have asked. So That's all the questions? That's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just get back to work. I guess so. Because we, we normally, do, oh, we, no, we do Wednesdays, but this week we messed up and we couldn't do last week, so we're doing workshops. So, yeah. And I only get to shoot Shay once in the blue moon <laughs> because she's travelling. Um, we'll put Shay's contact details in the description below. Yeah, so pop if you need Instagram to, down there. You need to book her. She's all over the world. And if you're not sure with working with a professional model, she's the right one to start with because she won't judge you. And if she can, if she can pick up you're struggling, she'll help you. She'll actually say, "Oh, why don't you move the light there a little bit? It'll be nicer on the skin." She'll be able to give you some advice because. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, a long time. A long time. <laughs> oh, you don't want to give away your age. Yeah. But she's been doing it a long time and she's also a photographer herself. So she understands those things. And at the end of the day, when she's working, she wants the clients to get great photos. So she'll help whichever way she can for you to get better photos. Even to the thing is, don't talk to me like that because it'll actually put me off. Talk to me more like this or put this music on or do something because I'll get a better feel, which means you'll get better pictures. And she'll do that without putting you down too much. I just had two questions come in quickly. I'm sorry. Uh, someone says, do you, do you not, not use a modelling light on your strobes? When I'm using strobes, no. My accountant told me the modelling lights, our bill to replace modelling lights one year was $2,800. So just by having modelling lights on for a year cost me that much more. That's how much the globe's been blowing. The other thing is I find when I'm using flat strobes, the modelling light is not actually showing you the type of light you get when the strobe goes off because the strobe's much brighter. It's not blended into the ambient light as much, um, especially with um, the lights at the modelling lamp is way ahead of the strobe lamp. So if you get into a parabolic dish, it's actually a completely different look off the dish and it also has a yellow tint colour. So if you're shooting fashion, the last thing we want is a yellowy type of cast which is more romantic and moody. So it, you're thinking edgy, sharp, cold fashion but the light you're seeing with your eyes is moody so it actually confuses you a bit. Um, yeah, I'd much rather move the light. I know roughly where to start but even when I didn't know what to do, I just moved it, took a picture, then moved it a little bit, then took a picture, moved it a little bit more till I found the light. And all that happens is the longer we do this, the less I have to move it. So the closer I'll be to the light I want through my experience of this will give me this type of light if I turn it like this to start with. 
where back in my early days of shooting people, I might have taken 40 frames until I got even near close to where I should have had the light. Uh, and the last question is, what do you think of the roto light? Love it. <laughs> no, I, I really like it. The reason I love it is because it can sit on my hot shoe and I can shoot with it on the hot shoe or I can pull it off and an assistant can hold it off to the side. I have the color temperature. Um, the one thing though is um, I had the Roto Light Neo 1 and then I had the Roto Light Neo 2 and I found that in the middle of the night, well at dark night time, I actually prefer the Neo 1 because uh, it was darker. So I could turn it down darker. So I'm finding that the Neo 2 is brighter, which most people want, but a lot of times when I'm using the Roto light, I'm trying to blend it back so you can't actually see I'm using any type of light. It feels more like a street light or ambient light on the model rather than a flash or a, a LED light. Mm -hmm. And the ability to be able to turn it down really low when you're shooting at 2800 ISO, um, I want to be able to turn it down so I can't, so I can't see the fakeness of an introduced light. Cool. Cool? We cool. done? We are. Someone said thanks for sharing a bit of your work online, and That's you cool. are very welcome. Uh, in time, this is only fourth or fifth um, live stream. What, the f you, what you don't see is there's a fair bit <laughs> to doing what we're trying to do. Um, where's my glasses? I can't see nothing. So just so you get an idea, you'll see that we've got a sound mixing console with four channels in. We've got a live stream deck which two cameras are coming into, we have to run dual laptops. We can't hear exactly what's happening oh, live. I can, I've got uh, my headphones. But that's still delayed, what, you're yeah. a little bit of time delayed. So a lot of this stuff is trial and error and us playing. And we, like I'm as fussy as hell when it comes to stuff like, um, especially sound, being an old sound engineer. Um, so these are stuff, that I reckon it's gonna take us another 10 or 15 live streams till we get our shit together. We'll get it but now. we're doing our best and as again, you'll see that these, the cameras and that we're setting up is to try and provide a much better um, look of what we do that we couldn't get with the iPhones and so much. Yeah. And there's just one more thing I needed to get, do because um, if we don't have a close up picture of Beck, people aren't happy. <laughs> So you can sign off now, Beck. Right. See you later, guys. We'll probably be going live again next week, Peter. No? Are you back? Uh, yeah. If you survive the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably be doing another live stream next week as well. Um, yep. I make an announcement on Instagram so you guys will know when we're going live. And, and we've got yeah. podcasts coming soon. Podcasts coming as well. Uh, links for workshops and Inspire. Everything you need to know is in the description. Thank you for joining in and we'll see you guys soon.